Wow, look at you guys. Super hungry kids, I think. Yeah. It's super hungry kids. Didn't expect to have this problem this early on in the year. We've been driving around for ages trying to find a good spot. I thought that we'd have the pick of them with it only being May still, technically, for another day. Yeah, but, it's um, before like the summer holidays, so I didn't think it would be this crowded. No. We're on the, what, fourth place and it's full. Yeah, yeah, and we weren't the first here. It's really strange, but yeah. it's just one of those things. We had the, this problem all last year as well. But uh, it's one of the things that you sign up for when you Mama. do this sort of thing, so. Yeah, Bella. Hmm, it's a round one. I mean, why, this. why are you looking for flat ones, Charlie? Jump. We can throw them and they jump on the water, don't they? Let's try and find a flat one then. That looks like a good skimming one. You think we're going to make be able to make it bounce on the water? Yeah, maybe yes on I yes on. Do you think? I just hold it to so you. Oh, thanks, mate. No problem. Nice. <laughs> oh, good tricks, mate. That. Yeah. All right, off to the next place and see if it's uh, not full there. Yeah, on to the next one. We'll see. That was the fourth place I think we tried today. Yeah, it's been people everywhere. Yeah. Well, we thought at this time of the year that this wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it's just surprising, that's all. I didn't think we'd run into this problem until later in the season. Um, but it's one of those things that you sort of sign up for with with this sort of lifestyle. Like we're not the only people with a van or a motorhome or, uh, or a four by four with a tent on top, as we've seen two of today. It's just, it is what it is. You just have to move on to the next one. It happened to us basically every, almost every day last year when we were away in the small van. Yeah. It's just one of those things. The only slight annoying thing uh, is that obviously we've got two little kids that are not quite as patient as, uh, as we are. You know, sometimes you do just have to take an hour and stop and let the kids run it off and throw some stones or whatever. And um, then move on and see if you can find some rounds. Yeah. And that's what we're doing now. Exactly, on to the next one. Yes. We were just saying that like it changes so quickly. This morning was uh, not super relaxing to drive. We had uh, mm -hmm. two uh, grumpy passengers back there. But now it's like everybody's singing and they're all chatting, to, they're both chatting to each other and you know, the sun's out and nice scenery and stuff. It's just like, could drive like this for hours. Yeah, it's really nice. Hours in and then you're not gonna have the kids anymore. <laughs> no, exactly. It flips around so quickly and I'll yeah, yeah. soon regret saying that, I'm sure. But... Mama's deciding if she dares to go for a swim. I know, it felt really cold over there yeah. when I stood here. To be fair, I don't got any feelings in my feet since chemo. But, I mean, it doesn't feel too bad. <laughs> no. No, I didn't think it was freezing. You just want to tell people that you've been for a swim in May. Yeah. Exactly. It's the 31st of May today, so this is your last day to do it. I know. I think I'm going to do it. Okay. 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 How does it feel, Charlie? Is it really cold or is it quite nice? It's nice! Good! Good. By the way, how nice is that bathing suit and how well does it hide that you've got a stoma? You can't see at all. So <laughs> Honestly, like you cannot see at all that you've got a colostomy. Sleep boy. Huh? Fleet clown? Can you hear an aeroplane, can you? Heard a fleet clown on stance? Dad. Dad. They are.
I feel like it's unreal that we can spend my recovery time like this, just enjoying life, being out in the sunshine, having a swim in a lake, just living our life as we were planning to, but we couldn't really. And uh, we thought they would be a long time until we were here, to be honest. And here we are, like six weeks after surgery, and that feels incredible. And I mean, I still got a long way to go, both physically and mentally, but just to be able to recover and spend time with my family like this and just be so close to nature makes it all a lot easier, I think. I mean, it's nothing better for your mental health than to just be outside like this and enjoy life and the nature in this kind of way. And like I said, it just feels incredible that we get to spend this time like this. Something that we get a lot is uh, comments about how strong we are, how positive we are, how good we're dealing with all of this, like we make it look easy, blah, 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 all these kind of things. And it is something that maybe we've not talked enough about because obviously a cancer journey is never easy. Never, you can never stay positive through the whole thing. You can't be strong all the time. Yes, we are people who look at stuff in a positive way and we try to keep our heads up. And I think I am a quite strong person to start with, but also a reason I think why it's been easy to stay strong and positive through this is because I've not really taken in what I'm going through. I've always thought when I look at other cancer journeys that they got it worse than I do, even though I had a really aggressive type of cancer, a really big tumour, I've had two surgeries, I've been through a chemo and they said that that affected me worse than most people and it's been a really tough journey but through each step I've just focused on to get through it and not like why I'm getting through it and what I'm being treated for and even though I know that I've been saying that I got cancer and everybody's talking about cancer I'm not really understood I think that it is cancer but it's a disease that kill a lot of people and you don't know what's going to happen and in the beginning just after I got my diagnosis a lot of people texted me and called me and said like it's all right to feel that life is unfair and like why did I get this like scream throw stuff we just get it out it's all all right to feel all these feelings and I didn't feel anything of this before I got the diagnosis but when I knew something was wrong I was really scared to not see my kids grow up it was the main thing I was really sad upset but after I got the diagnosis I just got a bit numb to it I think I didn't really let it sink in that I'm actually this sick and I never let like the actual thought about what it is sink in I think and then when I've been going through especially chemo I've not been able to think about anything else but to survive the day basically and now when it's all over even though it's not it is over I'm starting to get all of these feelings that life is unfair maybe not life is unfair but it is unfair that I'm 29 and I got this all my friends are getting married they're getting engaged they're having kids they're buying houses and we're going through this like we can't even get through the day without needing help from somebody because we can't manage it and that feels so unfair I'm 29 years old my problems shouldn't be this <laughs> and I think that this is something that we've not spoken enough about how hard it actually is for us and even though we are strong and positive it's still not easy for anyone to do this so yeah I'm starting to feel all of these feelings that everybody said that they had in the beginning of this journey where it isn't fair I want to scream and throw stuff I cry for everything like when I wake up my cup is filled to the top so smallest inconvenience I feel like my three-year-old <laughs> just as soon as it doesn't go my way I feel like I want to cry 
and scream and not do it anymore. And that's just not who I am as a person. But right now, I think it's just all the emotions from all of this is bubbling up. And obviously that's okay. And this is to be expected because everybody's been saying through, like even people close to me has been saying that they feel like I've not reacted to this. And I haven't because it's been so much of the physical that I've not been able to do the mental bit. And we just really want to lift that even if we have made this look easy, that was not the point of these videos to make it look easy. It's just been how we've been getting through it. And now for me personally, the hard part is coming. The mental hard part is coming. Uh, I think Tom has gone through it a bit more than I have. But it's not easy. It's not easy for anyone. And it's really important to talk about this mental health bit as well because it is uh, beating me up at the moment. But doing stuff like this is really good for your mental health. Getting out with the van, being close to nature, playing with the kids. I can go and have a lay down or just sit in here for a bit and relax when I need um, to rest. And uh, it's really doing a good job for my mental health. Morning, cozy kids. Good morning. Yeah, it's been a bit of a rough night, to be honest. Yeah. Well, I thought that Charlie was sleeping not great, and then he woke up with fever this morning, so we're gonna take it chill this morning, have a cup of coffee, get the kids some breakfast, and get, then go home, I think. Yeah, we started stressing around to to go home really fast, but then he's, he seems all right now, and he's, he's yeah. cooled down a little bit and yeah. stuff, so. But it yeah. is what it is. It's one of those things when you've got kids. Yeah. Um, it's lucky that we uh, have a uh, home to go to right now. Yeah. <laughs> It's not a big difference to lay in this bed and watch the iPad with a couple of episodes than it is to sit at home and watch something if you're poorly, so. No, it's probably actually a cozier and uh, it's, not, it's a nice dry warmth here because we've got the heater on and yeah. stuff, Yeah, so. yeah, it's lovely in here. Because I could sit in here all day. Yeah, Because it definitely. doesn't look very nice outside at the No, moment. it's not, it's cold out there. <laughs> it's been nice anyway, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been So um, I think we're going to do day. a cup of coffee now. Yeah, so it was a bit short ending this time because the sick kids and stuff like a bit rushed to get home. Uh, but that's life with kids. That's life with kids. It's this sort of lifestyle, isn't it? It's uh, you just have to sort of um, take it as it comes. Yeah, right? it was a lovely day yesterday. Yeah, it was. and it's been a super cozy morning. Uh, but now the kids are very ready to go home. Yeah, they're restless and. Uh, Charlie hasn't been feeling well, but he's now uh, got a bit of life in him and is uh, wrecking, the bus. wrecking the bus and measuring stuff at the same time. So, uh, but uh, no, it's been really nice, and um, we're uh, we're going to do the same thing again. Yeah. As soon as Charlie's uh, feeling a bit better. Yeah. So uh, make sure you join us next Friday and uh, see where we go next. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Yep. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.